what I've also noticed with, with folks is as they set a goal, I'm going to get up at 4 a.m. You know, from now on, just all the time, because I listen to this podcast and they get up at 4 a.m. So I'm going to get up at 4 a.m. Like, okay, cool. Awesome. You know, a week later, how's that 4 a.m. working out for you? Like, oh man, I'm actually sleeping in more. It's gotten worse, you know, or whatever. So, so, we'll, so we'll dive into it. So, hey, what time do you wake up now? I wake up at 6 a.m. Okay, well, how could you wake up at 5.55? And they're like, that's nothing. All right, well, let's just start there. So once again, just getting that movement and then they get up at 5.55 and what's that do? Oh, that was super easy. Okay, well, what do you think makes sense for the next one? 5.30. Like, let's ease into the goal. And so often what you just said is there's this big, massive jump and it's really hard to continue. Some people can do, like there are folks that are, you know, maybe they're probably listening. They're like, yeah, that's no problem. I already do that. Awesome. For the majority of people out there, they're not doing that. And so just finding those, the, that real easy, small step, like you said, is uh, perfect. With those folks, it's very environment dependent as well. So even if you have examples in the past of making that big leap of setting that goal and hitting it immediately, it's very hard to maintain that in all aspects of your life. There typically in that situation was a massive identity shift that you were now living into that made that lofty goal for yourself really easy to attain. But oftentimes we don't have the identity yet for the goals that we're reaching for. And we don't then have that willpower necessary, that motivation to stick with it. The flip side of this, of course, that we experience as leaders is outside of our self-motivation, how to influence the motivation level of our team members to achieve the collaborative goal that we all have. And as Johnny and I have talked about a lot on the show, this top-down approach to leadership, being authoritarian, just barking orders at other people, it might motivate a small segment of that team but it's not going to be a large enough segment to consistently reach the goals, motivations that you have as an entire group. 